Let's shift our attention to the co-main event going down Saturday night, UFC 294, Kamara Usman, the newest addition to the 185-pound weight class, and Hazmat Chamayev Kamara, let me start with you. This was your idea. This was your idea over two months ago. The UFC decided to give the nod to Paulo Costa. Paulo Costa revealed that he had surgery on his elbow three weeks ago, was pulled from the card. The UFC called you and said, Kamara, we like that idea after all. What is it specifically about this opponent that made you want to campaign and lobby for this fight? I think he's a, I think he's a great opponent. He's as advertised. I think he's he's tough. He's uh, he's big. He's strong. He can grapple. He can wrestle. He can strike. And at this point, this season in my life, it's just a matter of taking on the biggest, baddest challenges. And so when I walk away from the sport. I know that I, I took down who's who of the sport. And Osman, to go over to you, you're taking the same risk on short notice. This is not the opponent that you planned for. As soon as this fight was announced, Dana White announced that this would be a number one contenders match. Was that something that you demanded to accept the last minute replacement? I will play in anything else. Life is never let me play in anything. So I was ready for everybody. I don't train for somebody else. I focus what I gotta do and for my things. So. Let me ask you this. If you become the number one contender, if you get a win over Kamar Usman, that will draw you into Sean Strickland, who's a former training partner of yours, and as I understand, a current friend. Is that going to be a problem? What? No, no problem. Somebody wants to make money. <laughs> no problems there, man. I mean, and Kamar, I'd like to ask you the same question. Many people may not know, but you and Sean Strickland have competed before. It will actually be a rematch. You defeated him the first time. He was younger in his career, and it was at 170 pounds. Do you also look forward to rematching the current champion, Sean Strickland? Absolutely. I think since that fight, he's grown a lot. He's gotten a lot better. And, and I think he's just settled into who he is as a fighter. And I look forward to that matchup because as he's grown, as of mine, I've grown a lot as well. So uh, I think that's uh, going to be a highly anticipated matchup for, for everyone to see. And uh, I can't wait. Kamara, when you were the champion at 170 pounds, there was a lot of talk. There was talk coming out of Sweden. There was talk by people we respect like Brian Stan telling us about this young man in a training room named Cosmo Chamayo. He amassed a 4-0 record. He never left the first round. He even had a fight where he wasn't punched. And a lot of people were wanting him to be the number one contender against you. The problem was he didn't have a ranking, and Dana White said, it's too early. At that time, DraftKings put out a make-believe line. They had you as a 2-1 to -one favorite. DraftKings now has Chemayev as a 2-1 to -one favorite because they think you're taking too much risk taking this on short notice. Are you prepared to compete this Saturday? Absolutely. I think this one thing that since the beginning of my career, it's the one thing that I've always done. And and I think it's the one thing that any great fighter or great champion does. And that's you're always prepared. This is not something that we do on the weekends. We're, we're always in shape. We're always in the gym. We always continue to learn and grow and build. And so, of course, this was a, you know, he was a welterweight at that time. And I'm a welterweight. And, you know, he's slightly bigger welterweight. And so I welcomed that fight. But unfortunately, he can't get down to the weight and he couldn't make it. So now we're kind of thrusted in a situation to where now we have to uh, um, show the world this matchup at a weight class higher. But it makes no difference. At the end of the day, just like the saying goes, fighters fight. As I'm sure he's excited for the matchup, so am I. Shemayev, if I may ask you what your strengths are in this contest, as I followed your career, you've weaponized pace, meaning your condition has always been better than your opponent's. But in this case, it's a three-round fight. You're taking on a former champion who is used to 25-minute fights. Are you going to have an advantage in the conditioning? Are you going to have an advantage in the wrestling over a former national champion in Kamar Usman? I should ask her for that. Wow, it's like, I don't know what to say. Just come here to smash the guy, man. So respect for the guy, takes the fight, short notes, everything. I, you know, and they already has excuses. 
not Usman, a lot of people say, but Usman takes the fight like a warrior, man. But people already say he didn't have a camp, this, that, man. So for me, it doesn't matter. I come, we finish everyone, man. So I don't care about it being the champ of a pound and or all these shit. We have to go to the cage and fight, you know. Still, I know the guy comes to the wings so anyway. But I'm here also to kill him now, so. It's and Shemaev, sure my, final que- my final question to you, Chemaev, please give me a prediction for this fight. We're going to give the prediction, man. Now we're going to give you, can't give a prediction before the fight. Everyone says he's going to do that, going to do this, that. And the cage is, everything is going a different way now. So that's why I never can give like, was for the Gilbert Burns, like learn a lot of things. You know, I always think one punch, the guy going to be down in my head. So. You know, the game play against you, so how to be focused fight from first second to last second. So I have different mindset for my game now. Kamar Uzman, let, Kamar, let me ask you very directly. Are you going to beat Ozma Chemaev? Are you going to become the number one contender this Saturday at UFC 294? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, Joe. I like the way you worded that. Um, I think that's what we do. Just like he's planning to step in there and get his hands raised, so am I. He's prepared, and so am I. So on Saturday night, we're both going to step in there. And they're going to close that door. And whoever's game plan starts to uh, unravel, the other opponent's going to have their hand raised. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure he's looking forward to it. And on Saturday night, the fans and the world finally get the matchup that they want to see gentlemen my job as an espn analyst is over but i would like to now become a fan and tell you on a personal note i respect that you guys have both gone on with this the first rule is the show must go forward fighters fight as kamara said you guys are going to fight this saturday at 294 and rightfully so the winner will challenge for the world championship good luck to both of you